we send you our warmest Christmas greetings. How grateful we are for your ministry towards us in friendship, prayer, and support. Um, our partnership together really does display well, I think, the, the Christmas, uh, all that Christmas stands for. Uh, God with us, Emmanuel, the hope of glory, the hope of the world. We are, we are indeed blessed. And before year end, we'll be sharing more about what God has done in 2023 and also in uh, next year. But today we really just want to encourage you with uh, great truths uh, that, that really bolster our faith and we trust will be an encouragement to you. In rereading the ancient Christmas narrative, Matthew, uh, in his gospel, he directs us to, uh, to those wandering wise men from the east who came seeking that newborn king. Uh, only Matthew's gospel records that and uh, while miles and years and, and cultures separate us, um, you know, let's take heart. Uh, uh, the, uh, and and there, there are significant implications for our ministry. First of all, the, they, were, they were agents for pursuing truth, heralding from the ancient Babylon and given to study of the stars and, and dreams and magic and mysteries of the universe. Um, they, were ag they were agents, no doubt, that would, that have perhaps have been influenced heavily by the prophet Daniel when he was head of over, over all the wise men and, and uh, his, his faith in Yahweh and his reasoning uh, no doubt in, impressed upon all those many wise men in the school uh, that they were a part of. Oh, that we might be stirred on by the same, uh, pursuing growth and, and uh, the scripture, the ancient scripture says that we grow in grace and knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ and seeking him and and if we seek him, we find him when we seek him with all of our heart. I also think those wise men were uh, really mentors for finding answers, not just uh, pursuing truth. Um, they, uh, uh, perhaps at great peril, uh, they, uh, they travel from afar. And at great peril, they, uh, they were brought before another king to announce the, the birth of a new king. Um, surely they were ones who were seeking for answers and in natural and supernatural realm, uh, but tested and pursued that until they found him. And, and oh, what an example that is for us in, in earnest search for the truth. Uh, I like to think of it as like the ancient Ezra, uh, the prophet Ezra, who a priest known for his, his uh, devotion to study, his, his uh, diligence to respond to truth and, and, and then to teach it. Uh, that's really been a part of master work. And we also see, though, in these wise men that they were uh, models for exercising worship. Uh, oh, what, a, what an interesting uh, that their first introduction in Matthew says that they came and they, uh, they, they saw the star and they came to worship uh, this newborn child. Um, and surely awaken the Jews who perhaps had been slumbering for many years and, and uh, had forgotten uh, all the truths about Messiah. But uh, Matthew in his record says that uh, on coming to the house, what did they find? They saw the child with Mary and they bowed down and they worshiped him. Oh, even before presenting their gifts, uh, they presented themselves uh, and that's what mattered. They bowed and they worshiped. No greater posture in this Christmas season uh, but to pursue truth to uh, announce answers uh, that matter, and also th that uh, that we would uh, grow and 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 be worshipers of the Messiah of the world. We want to lead in a Christmas prayer and and uh, just bless you in this season. Let's pray. Jesus, thank you for the gift that you gave to us, the gift that is Jesus, and the hope that He is for the world. Thank you for your word that sustains us and that encourages us and it helps us to walk closely with you. I pray even as I read this morning that we would adorn the doctrine of what you have taught us in your word and may our lives do that. Father, I, I thank you for so many blessings. Thank you for this year and as we look forward to next year, we pray that you would find us faithful. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, we wish you a Merry Christmas. God bless you.
and uh, we look forward to uh, sharing more as the days in the days ahead.